Maui was originally developed at Weta Digital in New Zealand during the development of Avatar. Really it came about because of the scale and complexity of the problems that, that Weta were looking at. So it was developed in the trenches, it was developed alongside artists who were working at really the highest level of visual effects. A lot of it was really driven by Avatar, but it was coming out of our experience from the Lord of the Rings trilogy and King Kong. What I really wanted was something that worked more like it does in the real world, right? Where like if you're in the workshop, you know, you pick up an object, you paint it, you spin it around, you can have lights on it. We, uh, we wanted that kind of physicality to it, and that was really the motivation behind it. The core strength of Mali is the fact that it is the most productive, most pleasant way to paint textures. You know, Jack and the team were really amazing and we're listening to exactly what the texture artists wanted. Mari came along to help us work fluidly, not only to work with really large texture sets, but also to give us freedom as artists. Previously, I was always limited uh, in terms of, first of all, asset size. Um, when I uh, painted with other 3D painting packages, um, the performance was really slowing me down. While in Mari, I can deal with crazy, huge assets. And since it's a 3D painter, I'm focusing on the artistic side instead of more the technical side. Mari has helped my work as an artist extraordinarily. It's, it's helped me not only be able to iterate faster and do different versions with things like snapshots and changes that I can do in the models in such a quick and efficient fashion to get feedback on. It's also helped me in general painting. I mean, the idea that I can go and I can take my Photoshop brushes now and take all the tool sets that I've been using for years and bring them into Mari and create with them is kind of incredible. It's refreshing to have software where the interface doesn't get in the way. The one thing I tell people all the time is that Mari is a program that allows um, artists to work in context of the asset. And I don't think that was ever possible before in the way that it is possible in Mari. Mari should be an immediate replacement for any existing texturing system that you're using. One of the things that Mari is built on, one of its central philosophies, is being open. Mari can read and write files that um, Nuke can read, that Hero can read. So on a fundamental level, they, they work out of the box. What I really liked about Mari was, was that if you'd think of something, you know, there was always a tool to do what you wanted to do. Um, and also deliver high quality images too. There's nothing like it. It's so refreshing as a director to be able to see these characters come together quickly. I mean, I'm not waiting months for a character. I'm getting characters in weeks and there's no delay from painting to compositing. It's incredible. Mari's a tool for artists, first and foremost. It lets us create, it lets us bring our ideas to life, and it lets us express them. Every artist seems to love Mari. I haven't met one artist that's tried it and hasn't been, uh, wow, this is really great.